This is a short video on getting inside and replacing, in my case, replacing the left axle of a Tough Torque K46 transaxle. They've made uh, thousands upon thousands of these things over a 40 year period. In my case, uh, it came from a uh, 2006 Husqvarna LGT2654. I had to replace the left axle because the original one, I bought, I bought it used, and the original one was bent. Somebody bent it. Uh, the tractor still worked, it mowed, that wasn't a problem. But it wasn't the way to operate the tractor, so I decided to get a new axle and, and replace it. <clears throat> um, I, I removed the fan and the belt pulley, which is that would be on the bottom side. So I can flip it over and drain it. And if I I could have made some kind of a stand to hold it vertically higher, and, and so I wouldn't have to remove the uh, the fan or the pulley belt wheel. But it's real easy to do that. A little C clamp, take it out, remove the fan, remove the wheel. So no big deal. Not even worth showing how to do that. No benefit in it. So anyhow, I got it turned upside down. I pulled the uh, drain plug, let it drain into my oil pan. It drained, took several minutes because it was a slow process. Uh, taking off the uh, this plate, which is actually the sump. This, it was positioned like this. Bolts all the way around. Bolts came out easily. And there's five tabs. One, two, three, four, five. And these little tabs, you can lift up to break the seal lift up carefully because this thing is aluminum you don't want to break them but just kind of pry them up in these different spots it breaks free and once it's broken free it comes off very easily just put it aside over here the uh get this light out of the way over here the axle slips in, into this gearing gear assembly and there's two retainers we have to get out to pull the axle out. This one here, the large one, comes right out. There's another small one in there. I want to pull the axle back just a little bit to get access to it. Lift that out. In my case, I'm using a magnet. That's all I need. And with those out of the way, then you can pull the axle straight out. There's also a oil seal here. Um, you don't necessarily have to remove this, but it's a good idea to replace it. So I have a new one. I have a new one that I'm going to install. So a reassembly is is just uh, the opposite procedure. Push it in. Push the axle in. Might have to wiggle it a little bit so the splines engage the the uh, the gear. There it is. Take the small retainer. Just drop it in place. Oops. There, right that way. Push it in the rest of the way. Take the big retainers, drop that in. This is a magnet used to uh, collect uh, metal particles. I took that out, cleaned it, put it back in. It just sits there. But when the sump cover is back in place, it holds everything in place. So, so now this is obviously the the old uh, seal. But when I put the new one on. I'm just going to put it in place. I'm going to take the hub, use that as a hammer, and just kind of hit it home, get it in position. So right now we'll just take that out of the way, get that out of there. Now the uh, the sump, I scraped all the gasket material off all these uh, surfaces that mate with the uh, housing. I put in some acetone with a brush and I cleaned it real well, drained it out, flushed it, uh, blew it out with the uh, air hose. It's important that this this be really clean because once it's on top of the uh, housing, it sits on top of the, air, uh, the oil filter and you know all debris settles down here. So you just want this clean to prevent any debris from getting in the filter. And be careful with the filter. This is a very, very fine screen. If you break that, then the filter basically doesn't do any, anything for you. Okay, so we got the axle in. We're going to put in the uh, the uh, oil seal. That's taken care of. 
put this back on. We're going to, like I said, we're going to put a bead of gasket here, let it set up for about 10 minutes, then drop this on. Just drop that in place, screw it in, take the uh, transaxle, flip it over, get rid of the oil, put the, the belt pulley back on, put the fan back on, uh, fill up, fill the, uh, fill the housing with the uh, tough torque oil. Let me show you what I got for the oil. This is a gallon of uh, uh, Genuine Tough Tech Premium Hydrostatic Dry Fluid. I got a gallon of it. Don't remember what it cost, but I, I paid maybe 80 bucks between the the axle, the fluid, the seal, oil seal, and the plugs uh, on Amazon. So that's that's it. Don't be intimidated by doing this job. It's not that difficult. Uh, I thought it would be uh, really a tough task taking one of these things apart, but as you can see, it's not. It took me about 30 minutes to remove the transaxle from the tractor, put it on the bench, drain it, do what I just did, maybe less than an hour. Probably took more time cleaning the uh, sump than it did any of this internal work. Putting it back together, rebolting it, putting it back in the tractor, which might take more than 30 minutes. Uh, total time for this job, start to finish, is probably three or four hours. So um, I just want to give you a heads up if you're looking at this. It's uh, Don't be intimidated by it. It's really not a difficult job at all. So hopefully, um, hopefully the audio on this thing uh, came through. You got a decent audio quality. I'm using an Osmo Action camera with the internal uh, audio, not an external mic, and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, good luck with your project.